It's a totalitarian state to being developed right now all over the world. It is the inventory and control plan. Inventory and control of all land, all water, all minerals, all plants, all animals, all construction, all means of production, all food, all energy, all information, and all human beings in the world. And this is a plan that was agreed to by 179 nations back in 1992. It's a United Nations plan. It's called the Agenda for the 21st Century. And so many of us around the world think that, um, well, sustainable development, it just sounds so great. Isn't it about recycling and creative reuse and, uh, and creating energy and food resources for everyone? And the answer is no, it really is not. It's about moving populations into city centers, concentrated city centers, and clearing them out of the rural areas. All systems have to be brought into harmony in order to control them all. Because when systems don't meet, when they're, when they're out of balance or not in sync with one another, they can't be controlled centrally. And the goal of Agenda 21 is one world government and total control from a central unit. Every nation that signed on to Agenda 21 has its, uh, its local Agenda 21 plan. People in the United States are completely unaware of this. If I go out and talk about this, the United States press will attacks me and calls me which is it's totally ridiculous. It is a but it's not a theory. It's a fact. The three pillars of United Nations Agenda 21 are economy, ecology, and equity, the three E's. And everyone sort of thinks that they know what that means, the idea of social equity. It must mean that, well, everyone's going to have access to clean water and clean air, and uh, no one's uh, property is going to be used as a dumping ground because they are at a poverty level. But really what social equity is about is about impoverishing huge portions of the population and bringing down uh, deve the developed nations everything that we're looking at now is destined to collapse our economies. It's a totalitarian state to being developed right now all over the world. And what major corporations want... ...establish a one world government. Basically, it is about having a world government. We should abolish all states, all nations, all borders, but instead have only one world government. And that world government is to be by certain people, elites, people who are very rich, very intelligent, very powerful in many ways, they are the ones who will govern the world. There was not much talk about democracy or choice of leaders. Instead, there was to be a government by these elites who will impose their rules on everyone in this world. And for those who are unwilling to submit to them, there will be punishment. And the peace that we will get from this is the peace of the graveyard. Because the intention also is to reduce the number of people in this world. At the time when the new world order was enunciated, the population of this world was only 3 billion. The intention was to reduce it to 1 billion. Now the population of the world is 7 billion there will be a need to kill many billions of people or to starve them to death or to prevent them from giving birth in order to reduce the population.